Now I'm going to talk about the next top attribute in more detail later, but something you need to know is that IBGP does not change attributes. So as an example, if C2 advertises this network, 17.1.1.0 slash 30 to ISP1, the next top is 8.1.1.1. But when ISP1 advertises that route to ISP3, the next top is not changed. The next top is still 8.1.1.1. And that's because IBGP does not change attributes by default. We can see that by looking at the BGP table on ISP1. Notice this network 17110-30 has a next top of 8.1.1.1. When we look at ISP3, the next top is still 8.1.1.1. The same is also true for this network advertised to ISP router 3 from ISP 4. Notice the next top is this IP address. IBGP does not change attributes. So if we look at ISP router 2, show IPBGP, notice this network still shows this as the next hop. That changes, however, across eBGP. So if we look at customer 3, show IP BGP, the next hop is now 8181, which is ISP router 5, or 8171, which is ISP router 2. So essentially, IBGP does not change attributes by default. So the local router has to have IP connectivity to the next hop for the route to be added to the IP routing table. Because the next hop is valid, those routes are added to the IP routing table. So again, show IP BGP shows us that this network has been learned from this router, ISP router 1 and ISP router 4 through BGP. Both routes are valid. The best route is put into the IP routing table based on the BGP selection criteria. So we can get to customer router one as an example, because number one, we've learned that route through BGP. Secondly, the next top is available. We've learned about the next top through another routing process, in this case through IBGP. So the next top is valid and the route is marked as valid and is then put into the routing table based on the BGP selection criteria. Now the reason that we know about these next hops is because on ISP router 1, I advertised this network into BGP. So on ISP router 1, show run section BGP shows us that this network has been advertised into BGP. If I removed that advertisement, the BGP route would no longer be valid via this router. So I'll force an update here by using clear IP BGP star, force the routers to renegotiate. So what I'll do on ISP router four is do something similar. I'll remove that network statement so show run section BGP. On router four, router BGP 65001, no, and I'm gonna remove this network so that I'm no longer advertising this network into BGP. Clear the BGP neighbor relationships. Back on ISP router three, show IP BGP summary. Our neighbor relationships are up, notice the state for router one and router four. Show IP BGP. Notice we have these two routes in the BGP routing table. So in the BGP routing table, we see this network available via this router and this router, which once again is customer router two, this interface and this interface. Now it's showing as a valid route 
but notice a best route hasn't been selected for this route. Show IP route shows us that we don't have 8.1.1.0 or 8.1.2.0 in the IP routing table. So if I try and ping 8.1.1.1, that fails from ISP router 2. I don't have IP connectivity to that neighbor. ISP router 2 can also not ping this IP address. So because of that, this route is not put into the IP routing table. Now there are a few ways to fix next hop behavior in BGP. You could firstly advertise these networks via BGP. So advertise them into IBGP. You could also advertise them into the IGP, which in this case is OSPF. Or you could change the IBGP behavior by changing next hop self.